calculation. We are not going to calculate the structural formula, but we are going to calculate the empirical formula and molecular formula. And we are not going to deal with this one in detail. We only know how to explain the fashion as we have seen it is here. But now when you get into form 4 and learning about organic chemistry, you learn, you learn more about the structural formula. Because you cannot represent anything if now you know nothing about the structural formula. But according to our level, now we are going to deal a bit with not, to know how we can calculate, calculate molecular formula and how we can calculate what we call it empirical formula. Let us see on how we can calculate empirical formula and molecular formula. We have to go step by step. Yes. I've written an example here. A compound is analyzed and found to contain 68.54 percentage carbon. Then 8.63 percentage that is hydrogen. And then 22.83 that is for oxygen. Calculate A, it is empirical formula. B, it is molecular formula. If it is relative molecular formula is 104. And given that the relative atomic mass for carbon is 12, for hydrogen is 1, and for oxygen is 16. You may be given in terms of percentage, and also you may, give, you may be given in terms of their masses. We don't care whether they are given in terms of masses or in terms of their percentage. Now the percentage, now we're talking about, you have to arrange. We have carbon, we have hydrogen, and then we have oxygen. Now the constraint of this one, if now you sum them, if now they are given in terms of percentage, the sum of percentage of carbon, oxygen and hydrogen, is equal to 100 percent so sometimes you may be given the, the one for carbon and the one for hydrogen then you become told the less is for oxygen so you take that 100 percent minus the sum of hydrogen and carbon so as you may remain what we call it the less for oxygen as the hydrogen and carbon Alafu na ambio zilizobaki ni za oxygen. Asilimia yote ni mia moja. Kwa lazima utuwezi za hydrogen na carbon zilizobaki ni za oxygen. So you got to be very careful. So the first step is to write elements which are found in that compound. We have carbon, we have hydrogen, and we have oxygen. Then the second step is to write their respective percentage. Percentage for carbon, 68.54. Percentage for hydrogen, 8.63. And percentage for oxygen is 22.83. Now, you like their respective reward percentage. If it is given in terms of mass, you like their respective reward masses. After you have written so, the second step or the next step from there, you have to divide it by its relative atomic mass. Now, the relative atomic mass for carbon is 12. Relative atomic mass for hydrogen is 1. Relative atomic mass of oxygen is what? 16. Now, divide it by relative atomic mass of the respective elements. Relative atomic mass of carbon is 12. Relative atomic mass of hydrogen is what? 1. Relative atomic mass of oxygen is what? 16. Manake unagawane kwa relative atomic mass. Kabu likume pewa masa zake, na inye ni hivo hivo, unazipanga masa ya carbon, masa ya hydrogen, na masa ya oxygen. Lakini kumbuka utakume pewa masa of the compound. Halafu wakaigawane. Akwambia labda, compound likume tengeno na masa hamsini gram. Za carbon zilikuwa ni shirini. Halafu za hydrogen zilikuwa ni kumi. Za oxygen is equal to that. Kwa mwanyo katika msini, utatua za hydrogen na za carbon, utatua za carbon, za nani? Za oxygen. Utatua pale. Au by large, umepewa sote. So I'm about arranging them. Then after you have arranged those masses, now you have to divide by the respective, what we call it, relative atomic mass. That's what I've done here. This one, this one, this one. That is mathematical concept. Let us divide. You get 5.8. Seven, one, 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 two. 
Then here it is 8.63. Then we have then you have 1.43 by approximately. And then here you have let us live in two, de two decimal places. Then 68.54 divided by 12, you have 5.71. And 8.63 divided by 1, you have 8.63. And then 22.83 divided by 16, you have 1.43. This is what we got in our mind. You know, this is what we got in our mind. But this is not the end of the question. So you have to look the smallest number. The smallest number between this and this and this one. Among these three numbers, you are looking for the smallest number. Smallest number, that is superlative. In English, we call it superlative. Now, means you are comparing one out of the group. Now, we are looking for the smallest number. Smallest number. Unatafta number, no populiko zote. Now, the smallest from these two, three numbers, we have 1.43. Now, you divide by the smallest number. Unagawana kwa number ndogo kuliko zote, sehemu zote. Now you divide here by 1.43, here by 1.43, here by 1.43. That is what you got it. Now the first step you analyze the elements, the second step you write the abundances, after you have written you divide by the large atomic mass, then you find those numbers, you divide by the smallest number. Here automatic will be one. You have 6.035. You have 3.99. Then, after you have divided by the smallest number among the numbers that you have got, after you have divided by the latest number, then you have 1, then you have 6.035, then you have 3.99. Make sure that it we have the no we have no points of elements. This is, is 0 0.5 sodium. We don't have 0 0.5 sodium. We don't have uh, carbon hydrogen 6.035. We have to approximate this number we have got here after we have divided by the smallest number to approximate them to the whole number. Zikadini kwenda number zima. Kwa hapa we die amesha kubali. Uyu kikadiria, six. If now you approximate this one, you get 40? Four. Now we have four, we have six, then we have one. Means what? Now you come to conclude carbon, we have carbon four. We have hydrogen, six. We have oxygen, one. This is what we call it empirical formula. Now in short, our empirical formula will be equal to carbon four, Hydrogen 60 and single oxygen. So the first thing that you have to do, you analyze your elements, you write their respective, what we call it, the abundance or masses if they are given. After you have written so, you divide by the relative atomic masses. Then you obtain three numbers. Or if now there are three elements, no, no problem. If there are two, no problem. Then you have those three numbers, or two numbers, or four numbers. You check out which one the smallest number. Then you divide by the smallest number, both times. Then you get the number exactly, and, but you expect the numbers which are in terms of decimal. Now don't you lie, it's not approximate it directly from what you have done here. So you write them according to what you have got. After that, you have to approximate those numbers into who numbers. After you have approximated now, means that you have four carbon, you have six hydrogen, and then you have one oxygen. That is what we call it empirical formula. Now, after we have completed what we call it empirical formula, now let us check out the molecular formula. Sasa, point ya kukumbuka. Nani muhim sana. We say the molecular formula is equal to empirical formula times N. And we say the molecular formula is the multiple of empirical formula. Now, we, we should have N. Now, we have something called relative molecular formula is equal now to empirical formula times the n. From here now we can determine the value of n. The relative molecular mass is given here. <coughs> Calculate it is molecular formula. If it is relative molecular mass is 104. Now relative molecular mass is 104. Is equal now in the bracket. Empirical formula is C4 
hydrogen 6, oxygen 1 times N. Inside here is the empirical formula. This is relative molecular mass. Then let us open the brackets. Now we have 104 is equal. Then inside the empirical formula, we use the relative atomic mass. Relative atomic mass of carbon is what? 12. Is it so? Yes. Now that is 12 times how many are they? Four. Times 4. Plus hydrogen. One. Relative atomic mass for hydrogen is what? 1. 1 times how many are they? 6. Six. Then plus oxygen. Relative atomic mass of oxygen is what? 16. How many are they oxygen? 1. Times what? Means you substitute, the, you find the total relative atomic mass for the empirical formula. Now, if now we have C4H6 oxygen, means we have C times 4 plus H times 6 plus oxygen. But remember, carbon, relative atomic mass of carbon is 12 times 4. This is what I've written here. Plus, hydrogen is 1 times 6. This is what I've written here. Then plus, oxygen is 1 times 16. 16 times 1, because we have 1 oxygen. Mathematically, this times this one, we have 48. Plus, this is 6. <coughs> plus, 16. In the blanket, we have N. Now we have this plus this one, we have 22. 6 plus 16, 22. 22 plus it, this one. You get what? 7 times N. That is 70N. Is equal now to 104. But we are looking for the value of N. We divide by 7. We divide here by 7. Now mathematically this comes out. Then N is equal to 104 divided by what? By 7. Then you get it is 1.48. 1.486. Now the value of N is equal to 1.486. This is what I got. But remember from the concept here I said, we must convert it into the whole number. Now, whenever you approximate this one into who number, we have 40. And now is equal to 2. Sasa means conceptual about the final one of the other. 1.4 is approximated as 1. Who told you that one? I said that is not. Because whenever you are approximating this 4, you have to consider the number next, next after 4. There is 8. This 8 will affect this one. It won't be 4 as it is, it will remain as 5. Because this approximating this one starts from the right hand side of the number, going to the left hand side of the number. Whenever now you approximate this one, you have to check out. That is the shortcut. But the long cut is that one. You have to start with this number. You approximate one, then this one, then this one. But we already do the shortcut. We approximate this one. But approximating this one, you have to consider the number near this one. That is eight. The eight is approximated as one. Then it becomes five. Then 5 is approximated as 1, then it becomes 2. Now the value of n is the Q. The value of n is what? We say the P molecular formula is equal to empirical formula times what? N. But now n is equal to what? To 2. Now molecular formula is equal now, our empirical formula is C4H and oxygen times N. Let me do it here. If now we have said molecular formula is equal now to empirical formula times what? N. But N is equal to what? To 2. That is what I've got from there. And empirical formula, then we have empirical formula. Here it is. Then the empirical formula is C4H6 oxygen 1. This is what I've got. Times what? 2. This is number 2 is multiplied to the subscripts. The number of 40, the number of subscripts. Now, that is 2 times 4. We get what? 8. Then 6 times 2. We get 12. Then 
1 times 2, we get what? 2. This is what we call it molecular formula. So determine the molecular formula, you should have empirical formula. In the absence of empirical formula, you cannot do anything. And you should have what we call it molecular mass. Relative molecular mass. That's the way we calculate it, or the way we determine the molecular formula. Yani baada ya kupata ile heni kule, sawa? Unakuja unaifachika hapo unazidisha tu hesabu ya faida. Mimi mara moja, mimi mara sita, mimi mara nne, unaiandika pale. Heni inapatikanaje? Unatumia relative molecular mass. Pamoja na empirical formula, halafu ndani ule una substitute zile relative atomic mass. Maana tunatafuta jumla ya relative atomic mass kwenye empirical mass ni kwenye empirical formula ni ngapi? Halafu tayari unataka tamani ya n. After you have got the value of n, you came back here then you substitute the value of n. But you have to multiply that value of n to the subscripts. 